Hi, I'm Cheyenne Mackey reporting for KNN News. Recently, Saudi Arabia's king, Abdullah bin Abdulaziz, has passed away at the ripe old age of 90 years old. His half brother, Salman Abdulaziz al Assad, is now trying to ascend the throne and will most likely succeed in doing so. However, their father had a lot of sons, the youngest being 11 years old, um, having him been born in 2003. But the point is, there's a lot of possible contenders to who want to be the king of Saudi Arabia, and I, I mean, who want want to be king, right? It's great, right? Uh, you're kings, you're royalty. Bam! One second, you're just normal, walking around. Next day, king, right? So I can understand why there'd be a lot of uh, pressure and fights in the royal family. However, King Salman bin Abdulaziz al-Assad is 79 years old, has reportedly very poor health, and dementia. Dementia is when you forget what you know and, and make decisions out of haste, uh, get angry easily, and are generally in need of other people to help and protect you. Dementia is very common and with people in in their elder years, so it's not really surprising that um, Salman has it. So what I'm thinking is that is he really the best choice right now for Saudi Arabia? Is he up like there's the Yemeni Taliban and there's ISIS knocking? Right above them, like, hi, can we come in? Right? Or, uh, no, I'm joking about that. But ISIS may attempt to do something like that. As a lot of the Muslims' uh, holy mosques and burial sites are in Saudi Arabia. Like, most of them are. A lot. So, Saudi Arabia is kind of a haven for Muslims. A lot of them. And, uh... Saudi Arabia needs a good, strong, dependable king right now to make sure all the people in their land are safe. As it is, right now, people are still being beheaded by sword in front of the public, uh, perfectly legally in Saudi Arabia, in some parts of it. So, um, also with dementia, you kind of hold on to old traditional values from when you were younger. I hope beheading isn't one of them from back in the day, right? Because it was still perfectly legal back then. I don't think there's anything about that that we can fix though. So let me look at some of the other issues, right? Uh, in Saudi Arabia, women are not allowed to drive. They're just not. And there's, they're not really free people. They're not really considered people, more like servants, um, just people who exist, go there, have a purpose to serve the others. So, I, I just wanted to say, aside from all those problems, uh, U.S. is a, like, kind of afraid that the new king will raise all the prices. After all, just after death, um, the stock went up for oil. So, U.S. may have the stock go up so much that it's not even profitable for U.S. to work with the Saudi Arabians anymore. And uh, contact may stop, which would leave, no doubt, a sour taste between those two countries. And then again, I haven't seen what uh, Salman Abdulaziz, uh, bin Abdulaziz al-Assad has done yet, so I can't judge him or any of the other possible family members to become king. So, 
I just want to be hopeful that problems will be solved with whoever this new king is going to be. And guys, remember to like, subscribe, have a great day. Look, uh, send me comments down in the comments below uh, and tell me what else I could do videos on. I'd like, I'd really appreciate it if you